Hello folks, Russ Scala here. This video, we're gonna focus on the entrepreneurs, the innovators, and the people that are outside the box thinkers. Right now, with traditional medicine being broken, there are great opportunities out there to develop new treatment protocols, to develop new facilities, to focus on personalized medicine, learning, that, learning and understanding that everyone is biochemically unique. So let me take you through my history. Back, I worked, before I was a paramedic, trained in advanced life support, I was a, worked for an ambulance company and we worked on a guy that was stabbed in the leg. Now understand that if an artery is cut in half, it's a lot better because it'll constrict. But if it's stabbed and it's punctured, you could bleed out, you know, and and and, and die from, from shock very quickly. We were about 15 minutes from the hospital and a guy was stabbed in a leg. And on the way into the hospital, his blood pressure kept dropping, his pulse kept going up. Um, he was losing color. And by the time we arrived at the emergency room doors, he completely bled out. Now this is before I had any advantage advanced life support training, okay? And, and that happened frequently. All we could do to our patients was load and go. Load the patient and get, get back to the hospital as fast as we can. This was before the paramedic system, before level one trauma centers. Well, within a very short period of time, this is very interesting, I was trained as a paramedic. And when you look at the chart here, anytime you immerse yourself in three or four different fields, amazing things happen, okay? What is NASA? the Vietnam War and a fighter pilot have to do with saving lives. So let me tell you, when I became a paramedic, I was able to use the NASA telemetry where they measured the astronaut's heart rate, and we were able to use that for patient communications on the emergency scene. The Vietnam War allowed IV therapy to be used the first time as blood volume expanders to save people's lives in the street, in the, in the war zone, that were shot till they could get them to the trauma center. The jet fighter, when he takes a negative G-force dive, he has pants that inflate, it's called a G. Suit. This G suit kept his blood pressure up so he didn't pass out when he's flying a $16 million jet. So these three areas ended up leading right into the paramedic system and really created one of the most advanced life saving systems in the United States. And I was one of the first ones to hit the streets. So now going back to the patient that died on me with the with the stabbing, I had another patient in a similar, uh, similar he was shot. He was in the similar distance from the hospital. And um, I was a paramedic at the time. I arrived on the scene. He was shot in the thigh, I applied direct pressure, I took his vital signs, and then, because we immersed ourselves in, in what NASA can do, what we found in the Vietnam War and the jet fighters, I was able to start an IV of intravenous fluids. I was able to send my heart rate, my, the, the patient's heart rate, and my voice to the hospital with a telemetry unit, and then I applied anti-shock trousers that were made from the, the you know, developed similar to the jet fighter pilot's G-suit. We would put these pants and, and leggings on a patient and inflate it and it would keep their blood pressure up. And we saved that patient's life. And this all happened, you know, I was a, an EMT, not trained as a paramedic. And within two years, I had these advanced life support skills and it opened up a whole paradigm. Right at that time, a level one trauma center was opened up in Cook County, Chicago. And the trauma center concept and the paramedic program exploded across the United States. So what we can glean from that is this time right now, in 2021, it's very, it's an innovative time to have the same explosion. We know traditional medicine is broken and personalized medicine is becoming a hot topic. Epigenetics, how genetics cocks a trigger and epigenetics pulls it, our behavior, our nutritional and hormonal support are gonna be part of treatment protocols. Conventional medicine is broken. As we said, we have to go more towards a personalized approach, which is very hard, but we are all biochemically unique. So medicine is needing a paradigm shift to, you know, diabetes, heart disease, and cancer are gonna break our country unless we come up with new treatment protocols. So this is the time to be very innovative. Social media, people are forming groups on social media. They're running lab work, sharing information, and they're saving lives all without a physician involved. You can watch this being done in real time. It's a fascinating time for doctors, innovators, um, anthropologists, diet specialists to come on board. A good example of this is the ketogenic diet. You know, the food pyramid has been around for a lot of years. The ketogenic diet movement is millions of people are learning how to keep their blood sugar down and keep their uh, keep their insulin levels down. And we know that diabetes, heart disease, dementia, and obesity have, four, have two things in common, elevated insulin and ele elevated uh, blood glucose. So now there's a lot of PhDs that are looking at this for the first time 
time. So at Scala Precision Health, we offer, we have our business development team that we share this information with entrepreneurial thinkers, social media experts. We really want to get involved in this paradigm shift and get this information out there. So see Scala Precision Health in Winter Park, Florida, and see the Russ Scala YouTube channel if you want to take a deeper dive and share this, folks, if you think it's interesting, okay? Thank you. The time is now for you to take control of your health. Everybody and everybody has a story. Let us find out yours today.